Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you as a student how you gonna upload um, your achievement file in OneDrive, then I'd share it with your teacher. Okay, it will be so easy. And uh, if you already have uh, an email in Hotmail, it will be good. Okay. So, um, so first I will start to explain how you're gonna sign in in OneDrive, then how to upload and share. Uh, the achievement file with your teacher. If you don't have an email on Hotmail, no problem. Uh, I also gonna um, show you the steps how to sign up in Hotmail. Um, then you can be able to use the OneDrive to upload your files or create your file for the achievement. Okay, so let's begin. So now, when I open the browser, I will write here one drive like this one, one drive dot live dot com. Okay, so see now. Here now, I will have two options: one for sign in and one for sign up. Okay. And as I, as I said before, uh, I will show you how to sign in, then upload your files. After that, if you don't have the email on Hotmail, we can explain uh, how to sign up. Okay, so sign up for my Hotmail. Or if you have an Outlook, no problem. So I will write my email. Okay, here. Next. Now I will write the password, then sign in, okay. So now this is my OneDrive. Here in this place, I can upload any file that I want. For example, now I will create a, a specific file or a new file for the achievement file, okay. From here, new, then you can create a folder. Okay, and I will write achievement file like that, and you can create it. And inside this file, I can upload any files that I want. Inside this folder, I mean, sorry. So as you can see here, I have a new one achievement file and inside it I can upload any files that I want from here upload then files also I can upload a folder that contains many files inside it so it depends on you if you want to to upload the files or you want to upload the whole folder with the whole contents okay so for example I want to upload a file maybe two or three files as I want and see now the storage here of OneDrive, it is almost full. I use it about 94% of my OneDrive and uh, this is the remaining. But actually when you, if you never use it, your OneDrive before, you will have a five gigabyte of storage, okay? So I think as a student, uh, it will be enough. For example, I have this uh, Word file and I want to upload it. Maybe I can upload also this one so I can click on control from the keyboard and choose the files that I want. For example, this and this and this and open. Then it will be ready in my OneDrive. And after that, I will show you how to share this file, this folder or these files or whatever. It will be the same way. It, the sharing will be the same way as I will explain now. So, for example, uh, I want uh, my, my teacher uh, to see the whole file or specific files, as I said, the same. I will right click now. I will show you the way of sharing. Share, or you can download, you can delete, you can move to another part, uh, copy it, rename, all the options. Now I will click on share. Okay. Then I have two options. Um, it could be that 
the receiver of this uh, file maybe can edit the file or only view it so if I want this viewer only to view it not allowing to edit I will uncheck this one so it means this viewer can do any edit for my files so it is better actually so anyone with this link can only view view or downloaded it no problem so I will copy the link now so I have the link now when I have the link I can share it with and with any teacher okay so it will be like this so I can paste it in email uh, in any place that I want okay so I hope the idea is clear and easy uh, so that's it um, and inshallah I will explain uh, now how you sign up and do the same steps so if you can see here I have like this one sharing people um, that the people can see my folder what's inside it okay so that's it okay um, so that's it if I want to sign up I will show you now uh, let me sign out here I will click on sign up for free let me choose any name I'll have hawk underscore school 2020 next um, to uh, sorry I need to write at hotmail Dot com. So you have two options. It could be Outlook or Hotmail. I need, I want it to be Hotmail. Now choose the password and uh, to uh, be sure that it is start with a capital letter. Okay, and choose for example at, and you can write any um, numbers. So like that. Then next. Uh, now I choose the name. Uh, um, Afaq teacher, for example, uh, I can choose the country. Um, Saudi Arabia. Uh, then it shows the birthday, the day, the year. Um, it is better to choose the day, the date, the year. Um, in this uh, in this range because it will not allow you uh, if you are uh, lower than 18 years so done Now you can see onedrive.live.com and again the same the same way the same options of upload new everything I could skip this one so that's it so easy right um, and you can see here I have the five gigabyte free space for uploading all my files that I want uh, I want to say something actually very important uh, for example if you want to sign it or um, having the files in your computer or send it to the laptop your laptop uh, your mobile sorry or for example I have the files on my mobile and I want it to send it to the computer okay so how to do that with one drive um, I suggest you um, to download the OneDrive app in your computer you will write on the search OneDrive okay space app okay so you will find the first the first link 
and as you can see it is download so it means you can download this application in your computer or even in your mobile here I will download it okay download as normal as an application or you can get the OneDrive mobile app from Android or Mac anyway you need you need uh, to use a specific email in your laptop after downloading this app it will ask you to sign in in your hotmail then you will write the email password then you will have in your computer it's uh, like any file in your uh, computer but with the sign of OneDrive and also in your mobile you will go to the store for apps then download OneDrive search for OneDrive then uh, download the app and write the same email in your computer on your mobile to do the signing then you can uh, upload any any files in your mobile uh, to the OneDrive in your mobile and it will appear here if you can see here I have the OneDrive it will look like the, this like a cloud and inside it I can upload any files that I want as normal as any hard drive for example I want this one to be here so I will move it here like that and after after loading or uploading uh, I can see this file in my mobile sure in the application when the drive so I hope you understand what I mean um, and thanks for watching and goodbye